Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox unapproved third-party applications or extensions detected. Before heading to the steps, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications. You may face this problem if there is a program that uses anti-cheat on your PC running in the background. So all you have to do is to open the task manager and see if you have any application that use the anti-cheat software or if the anti-cheat is opening or even if you have a game that use this software like Fortnite for example look for one of these applications that I have mentioned and see if it's running and you can search by uh, clicking on any one of these things and type uh, F to search for Fortnite as you can see here I don't have easy anti-cheat open or even Fortnite but if you find it you can click on it then click on end task then you should try to open the game again and this was the first method and if you're still having the problem you can try another method you can easily go to your start menu and restart your computer by this way you will clear by this way you will clear your RAM and close any program that is running in the background now if you still have the problem you can try another method and all you have to do is to uninstall the game then reinstall it and this can be done by going to this icon right here then click on right click button then go to apps and features then search for roblox in this search bar right here then after searching for it click on uninstall and this is the easiest way to uninstall roblox then after that in order to reinstall the game you should go to your browser then type roblox and go to roblox home as you can see here you should now choose one of these games right here i'm gonna choose this one then click on play and by this way you can download again the game as you can see here just click on download and install roblox or you can get it from the microsoft store and after reinstalling the game you can try again and the issue will be fixed. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you all. And I hope these methods work with you. And see you in another tutorial.